Hey guys, this is Kilo, and today I am going to show you how to originate keys with space and depth keys. In this example, we are going to go ahead and use the quick set version of these keys on this defiant lock. You can see that this is an operating key, works perfectly. So the way that these work, you have, you know, your key code, let's say, let's say the customer in this case breaks their key off in their lock and it's broken right at a cut. Most of the time you're going to kind of be able to get lucky and piece these together in your duplicator and just duplicate the key. Sometimes they break off right at the cut or the cuts are, are worn over years and you want to originate them a new key. If you have the code, you know, that's great. If not, you can decode it with one of your pocket decoders and we have three, two, one, two, four. Now with space and depth keys, the way that these work, they are all the same blank, but each key is cut to one specific depth all the way across. All one cuts, two cuts, three, four, five, and six. Now, if we look at our key code here, the middle cut is a one. So what you'll want to do is you will put your first space and depth key of all ones into the machine, lock it in. We'll take our KW1 blink. We will go ahead and fit him in. And from here, we're going to cut all the way across. Okay, now we'll look at our next code. It is, so the code is three, two, one, two, four. So the next two deeper depths are going to be twos. So since there's nothing else going to interfere with this, we are going to take our number two space and depth key here, and we are going to cut this one pretty much all the way across except for the middle cut here. Oop. Trying to do this through a camera. So we're going to go ahead and cut all twos except for the third cut. Okay, now looking back at the cuts just to keep you guys on this, our first cut is a three. So we're going to go ahead and grab our number three space and depth key, put him in here, and we're going to go ahead and just cut the first cut to a three. And our last final cut is a four. So we'll go ahead and grab the number four depth key, put him in, lock him down, and just cut that last cut. It does take some finesse as you have these peaks that you want to try and cut as smoothly as you can as you're not going through one, you know, regular already cut key. So it does take a couple of passes sometimes. So we're going to go ahead and put this under the little burr wheel and deburr it real quick and then try it out in our lock. So, moment of truth here, we'll go ahead and works perfectly, no dragging or anything. So I just wanted to show you guys, this is how sometimes you've got to do it. Um, 
you can buy these, you can make them when you do have a code machine. It's always good to make a, a full set of all of your most common locks um, for, you know, a set of space and depth keys. Just because every so often, sometimes, like, I haven't had it happen to me personally, but I do have friends with shops, and sometimes, you know, they buy, you know, whatever brand they have, and sometimes it's defective, sometimes it shows up broken, sometimes, you know, somewhere along the way, the electrical mess, you know, some things happen, and if you have to send it back for some reason, you want to always, you know, you don't want to be limited in your job you want to say you know i can still do this job just like you know before this does take a little longer than using um you know a code card but you see i mean this only really took maybe five minutes or so and you pretty much you want to the only um problems that you can run into like i was pointing out a minute ago was you know these valleys and these peaks you want to have it still look like you know a factory cut so you can see we actually got pretty close it's not you know super pretty but it doesn't drag it doesn't you know it does its job so as long as you can you know sometimes you gotta you take some finesse with it sometimes on schlag keys you got even deeper cuts so you know on schlag and other types of um locks you may have to finesse it a little bit more but this I just wanted to show you guys is how a space and depth key works, how you can originate your own keys from them until you buy your first code machine or until your code machine gets back from the shop. So that's all I really have for this video. If you guys like it, you can feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. As always, stay safe and have a nice day.